opening series of this game. St. Pierre over the middle, and it's complete to Keith Hemmings. Hemmings was the big receiver last week. Catching seven balls, gets his first of the day, brought down by Jerome Sapp. Fourth and a short yard, the first attempt this season. And Ryan Grant is spun around. That's going to be close. I think they stopped him short. Great surge by the Eagles. They did. Big, big play. I think it was Tom Martin, number 90 inside. Boston College holds. Remember, that was second down and short. Yep. And Boston College able to stave off the Notre Dame score. Let his players know only when they saw him in the locker room. Thanks, Lewis. Good field Bust position and another fumble by Notre Dame. And it's recovered by Boston College. It was Josh Hawk. <laughs> This is the thing that Notre Dame has done on off, is protect the football, not done, excuse me, is, is turn the ball over. Josh Ott, the outside linebacker, linebacker scoops it up. It has a chance to score. Trying to take advantage of the Irish turnover, but they've been backed up. St. Pierre, and that was almost intercepted, but Hemmings has it. And Hemmings has a first down for Boston College. I, I think Hemmings intercepted it from Shane Walton. <laughs> I mean, Shane Walton had that ball. Would have been his seventh interception of the year, but a great play by Keith Hemmings. Wow. Number 12. Interception. Instead, Boston College with a first down at the 25. Knight to the right side. Has some running room. Turns the corner. He's got another first down. Jerome set. Saved the touchdown. Boy, good blocking by the right side. Parento, the right tackle. And Copen, number 77, the center. Knight. Touchdown. Very opportunistic and important drive for BC. You mentioned they were unable to beat Miami this year. A tough loss, as you mentioned, to Virginia Tech. This, I mean, for BC alums, I think beating Notre Dame is the most, or Notre Dame is the most important game in their schedule. Well, this Notre Dame has trailed 16 minutes, 15 seconds versus yes. Pittsburgh. Billingham's in trouble. Yeah. He just gives it away, and it's picked off. That is Josh Ott, who's going to score for Boston College. <laughs> Unbelievable. And, and, and they'll go for two, as Tom O'Brien saying. They'll go for two. But that's one, Pat Dillingham, you just can't make that mistake. You know, you just have to take your medicine sometimes. It was number 21, Trevor White, I think, who got in the face of, uh, of Pat Dillingham. Number 21 off the corner, right there. And he's just trying, I don't know to whom he was throwing. But uh, Josh Hart was wide open and was happy to accept it. That's the second time. Well, he scored this time. As Boston College goes for two with a 12-0 lead, trying to make it 14-0. St. Pierre going to the end zone, and it's good. Sean Ryan, 89, hauls it in, the tight end. And it's 14-0. A quick approach by O'Brien and his team, which is again winless in the Big East Conference. Dillingham going long to Snowball, and this one is picked off by Parent. Another turnover. And with 41 wow. seconds left, a flag comes in. One of those excess celebrations. Yep, in here. And they give it to him. This time he stopped in the backfield. And the ball gets loose again, and Boston College has it. Hey, and Tim Bowman, I think number 96, recovered the ball. Wilson, who has been That's on the receiving end of a number of poor exchanges with Holiday. The ball was right there in Marcus Wilson's uh, bread basket. Good strip. Mm. That was by number 24, right. Ralph Parent. And then number 96, Tim Bowman makes recovery. Unbelievable. Turnover number four. This will be it. Battles down there. Stovall's down there. Ball is batted away. And Boston College has done it again. Nine years from the big upset, they've knocked off the unbeaten Fighting Irish again.